Hey everybody, Angel Arts here, and I am once again playing the Game of Thrones, Telltale's The Game of Thrones. I am joined by a whole slew of people right now. This is very overwhelming how many people are on this live stream. But people are going to be joining me and we're going to be sharing an experience together. They're all going to be behaving. They're all going to be behaving about spoilers. I've already given the spiel about spoilers. What they're not going to be behaving is, is giving me a hard time about the sexy maester. Which is fine, I deserve all that. So they're not going to behave about that, but that's okay. <laughs> so, because it's to my expense. Let me go say hi to people. Who's up here right now? Um, hi, Battling Bard. Hi, Gok Kwans, or Ga Kwans. If I'm, if I'm botching your, your names, guys, I'm so sorry. Punks13, yay, Punks. Hoping your horse is doing okay, my dear. Um, Gardener Wayne 82 We have a celebrity. Punks is actually one of the... Uh, contestants of my uh, Mass Effect, Mass Effect, uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon Age, Mass Effect tabletop campaign. So <laughs> you guys are among celebrity here. <laughs> Hi, punks. Um, Lady Esper, I think you said this is your first time here. Uh, da, 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 da. If that, if, if so, I believe that's what you said. If so, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and who else is here? I'm just going through the names. If if you guys haven't yet, uh, say hi in the in the comment section so I can say hi to you back. Uh, the Iron Rubber Duck, uh, glad to have you back, Iron Rubber Duck. Soven Garden is Valhalla, um, and apparently it's 5 p.m. there. Um, hi, Soven, and who else? Who else? Who else? I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Kiachira, hi, Kiachira. And uh, King, I don't think I've said hi to Kingless King. Welcome to the welcome to the live stream, Kingless King and Mac Gamings. Mistiani's here. <laughs> Mistiani's another celebrity. She is uh, going to be a part of the actual main campaign for the Ma Mass Effect RPG tabletop. So awesome to have you here, Mistiani. Um, Tyranniac, hi Tyranniac, good to have you here, sir. And Shy Mystic, hi Shy. And Jovian09 is here, hi Jovian. Um, if I missed you, for whatever reason, just ha say hi again in the comments and I'll see you. Um, a lot of people are happy to be here. I'm happy you guys are here. I've been looking forward to to, to playing this game, and it's it's always tough because as soon as I as soon as the game releases, I the first thing I want to do is get home from work and start playing it. But I thought no, because I can't cheat the people who really wanted to share the experience live with me and interact with me while I'm doing it. So hi, Water Golem one two three. Um, hi, Epic Ninja two seven seven six. Hi, Mast or Maced seven one seven. Welcome to the live stream. Um, yeah, lots of people here. Good gosh. Okay, please, please, please do not say anything that could affect my choices in the game. Sometimes, though, if I feel like I could go either way, if I'm like, mm, I can see myself going one way or another, and I need help tipping the scale, if I need help tipping the scale because I really feel like I'm in between, I'm on the fence, then I might explicitly ask you, okay, guys, what should I do? And when I do that, don't tell me why. You can tell me, I think you should do this, I think you should do this, but don't tell me, you should do this because then this person doesn't die. Or you should do this because then you'll get a million dollars and Chris Evans will come to your house. Because, I mean, I would love for that to happen. Actually, if that were to happen, then tell me. Tell me that, if that were, if that were to happen. But other than that, or Ryan Gosling. Sure, I'll say Ryan Gosling or Chris Evans. Then you can tell me that. But if it's not that, then please don't tell me. Please do not influence my choices. By the way, people have sort of started making this a drinking game. Like every time I squee about, I squee or mention how attractive some character is in the game, people tend to take a drink. Not that I am endorsing that in any way. I'm just saying it's what people have started doing. And I find it kind of hilarious because I don't personally really drink myself. But if other people feel like they can get extra entertainment out of that, and if they're being responsible and not, you know, driving anywhere afterwards, I am not going to, you know, say anything heads or tails about it. So let's see what other people are saying here before I get started proper. Good morning, Epic Ninja. Um, 
I'm yeah, you and my early, me and my early streams. The problem is because I'm actually um I'm actually um going to a ball. My company we're having an awesome ball tonight. Um I apologize if you don't care about all this, but we're going the ball is taking place in an air and space museum. So the whole museum is going to be completely open just for us. We're all going to be in our black tie tuxes and all of the like simulators. This is a neat simulator where you're you're flying a shuttle and one person controls the gun and the other person controls the plane and you can actually turn the plane upside down, which is why I'm probably going to do the simulator before I eat anything cuz that would be bad. So, I'm going to get all nice and dressed up and um, it should be fun, but that's why I'm doing this early cuz I'm trying to make sure that I get this out of the way with plenty of time to get ready for the ball. So, sorry that this is so early, but that's why. Um, hey, Accessin is here. You made it. Um, you made it on time. <laughs> Good to have you, Accessin. Uh, no chance of spoilers for me since I've always seen the episode before this. Oh, thank you. So we're gonna be we're gonna experience this together. I'm liking this. I have been hearing that people said this is a good episode. So not that I am trying to you know go in with expectations because that may or may not be good, but it's all worth it to see Arts destroy the world because he told the sexy maester the horrible secret. Ah, uh, that is not going to, that is not going away anytime soon. The sexy maester, I'm, I have not put the sexy maester up on my wall yet. And I'm not going to, at least not right now. The only people who are up on my wall right now are Garrett. I don't know if, well, Garrett's over there. Ethan is over there. There's Ethan right next to Chibi Omid. So, Ethan is here with me in spirit. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm still hurt by that, heartbroken by that. Um, excess in, yes. No spoilers. Yes, no spoilers. It's not light on thrills. Don't think that's a spoiler. It's not light on thrills. Okay, well, that's good. That's very good. Let's be right back getting scotch. <laughs> oh, excess in. Be, now, be, 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 be um, responsible, Excessin. Be ex responsible. The drinking game returns. Thirsty AA? The first, yeah, I got some water here. Cameron, hi, Cameron2579. Um, this Game of Thrones, those hearts should be broken. Uh, that sounds awesome. Wish my work would do stuff like that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Sounds cool. A lot of fun. Air and Space Museum Ball. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. Because cause, cause literally... We are, you know, we have, we're having dinner in our banquet and there's like all these planes all around us. The pictures, if I, when I post this on YouTube, I'll try to post pictures of last year's ball because we do this every year for, for around the winter season. So I'll post some pictures up as well. Um, we saw that Ash was going to be there in the preview in this episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I actually have not seen the trailer. I, I purposely have not looked at any of the Telltale Games trailers because I don't want to be spoiled by anything. I want to go in completely blind. I'll drink to that. Orange juice only, of course. All right. 4 p.m. Good for you. Maybe I should bring up my vanilla liquor and milk. I'm a, I'm, I'm more of a fan of um, Kahlua and cream, personally. Maybe Bailey's and cream, but more Kahlua and cream. Mecca McAllis is here. I'm only here because I want to be here and still waiting for his universe. Very well. Tyrion should rule every world. Okay. That's enough of that. I've got heavy cream and cinnamon coffee. Nice. Turn for everything, Maester for King. I have some disgusting melon liquor for a friend. Brought her out last month. Might take a swig every time Mark says, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. We need to have a list, I guess, of drinking game rules. If anybody wants to come up with something, that would be hilarious. They should make a new Lord of the Rings where the Maester is Sauron and Tyrion is Aragorn. We're all angels here. Aww. Oh, the North never forgets. Okay, so let's go see how much my choices in the previous episode completely screwed over whatever happens in episode two. Completely screwed everyone over. Okay, I know this guy. Don't know his, I don't remember his name. People in the comments, everybody's gonna yell at me now. People in the comments, remind me what his name is again. Because I think he is a brother. He is the brother of... Uh, I don't remember who's the brother of. Anyway, give me a give me a quick quick like this is what I should know going into the game about this person because for someone who's watched the show, I I should know this. But you killed them all. Um, let's go ahead and begin episode two. Jon Snow, thank you, Jon Snow. The White Walkers will take over everything because of AA's decision to tell the Maester. That's Snark. Jon Snow, he is Stark. Okay, I can see that. 
All right, brother of Rob Stark. Gotcha, gotcha. Jon Snow for the win. Okay, cool. Brother of Rob Stark. I figured he was one of the Starks. Okay. Um, let's begin episode two. I'm excited. So excited. The question is, is there anybody that's going to end up on my wall after this episode? I think I know who's going to end up on my wall. I have a sinking feeling I know which one. No, it's not the maester. It's not going to be the maester. It's going to be somebody else. Previously on Game of Thrones, I need, I need, like, ever. These are dark days, oh, I fear. Go. Garrod, Garrod's narrating. <laughs> no, Sir Roderick. Ooh, took it to the knee. Sword to the knee. The North Grove must never be lost. Yeah, I forgot about You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands. <laughs> well, I screwed that up. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with Tyrion? the crown? Tyrion! It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. No, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. No. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <gasps> If I don't see it, didn't happen. Don't let them take me! Oh, Ryan. Oh, this is pretty. Somebody's taking a leak. And what the? Okay. It's Asher! Is he gonna squash it? <laughs> Yunkai, three days after liberation. Okay. <laughs> oh, Whoa, hi. It's just me, Veska. <sighs> Took you long enough. Veska. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Yeah. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. <laughs> can stop pacing. Can I at least look at the picture? This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. Just right from the get-go, I'm starting to get a... This place could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner. Look at the spell. Except he's probably dead. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Can I actually taste it? I can actually taste it. I feel like Asher is is enough of a bad arse to taste it. It's blood. <laughs> nice having the place to ourselves, though. Ew. I'm kind of getting a Daryl Dixon feel off of Asher for some reason. Ooh, a hatchet. I'll get to the hatchet last. This so is Fragrant. Damage? Look at the damage. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Look at Beshka, talk to Beshka. I know, I know. Woman sellsword, four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha, quit staring, let's get to drinking. Alright, I want to get to the axe though. Or the hatchet, rather. Look at the hatchet. Only a forester oh. brings his axe all the way to Essos. It's got the crest of the... Naked little thing, though. Yeah, it's got the forester crest on it. Grab it. Grab the axe. The hatchet probably belongs to him. Yep. So were they in a fight? It looks like maybe they had a fight in here at some point. It. She does actually sound like Jennifer Hale. I would not be surprised. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. It goes out yellow, comes out yellow. found it in an abandoned tavern. It's not bad. They smell off to you. 
It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. You know, I'm not really a bastard. But you're my kind of bastard. It's half the reason we're friends. Fair enough. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Guest? Oh. Okay. What's going on here? How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... Something or other. Fair enough. Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Hmm. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. Hmm. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. How about skinny Asian men, Asher? Wines, <clears throat> the best horse. Take a drink. Sleep in right a bed now, everybody take a drink. <laughs> Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've not been paid yet, Beska. Can't spend dragons you don't have. We'll have them soon enough. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Oh. Gwyn. A man Gwyn. doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. I'm playing him... I'm playing him to be... Oh. You're not that drunk, are you? I'm a little Sorry. drunk, apparently. Actually, people reviewing might be a little drunk. He's greedy, but he still values family. Greedy, but still values family, I guess. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again- Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Hmm. Good to see you too. <laughs> it's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Is that Here. the gold? 400 dragons. 400. I must be working for the wise masters. Mm. And that's all you're getting. Should be 800. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of Old Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. <laughs> Bloody hell! Whoa. And we're done with you, too. Don't talk to my men. You just made a huge mistake, Tazal. Yeah, you two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. 
The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. Oh, I see how this is so you steal the money and we get the blame. I see how this goes. Ponte Osinas! Bojos me nomi jahosso kisikas! Taunt, play it cool. Oh, uh, I'm flipping the table. I'm flipping the table. Alright, who dies first? Who wants to dance on the end of my sword? Whoa! Alright, Asher. You and me, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's my boy, Asher. Here's one. Come on! Ooh, Asher. Ooh. Sick me! blue? <laughs> what? To be down. Oh! We'll just stab him anyway. Stab him with it anyway. You gotta hatch it. Take the one that's closer, I guess. Thank you, my dear. You owe me one. Hatch it to the head. Hatch it to the head. Shit! Q Q Q, my friend, my old friend, the Q. Q Q Q Q Q. And nice, beautifully well done. Great way to start the episode. This is for Volantis. Fresca. Hit him! Hit him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Grab the sword. Grab the sword. Fuck you, Asher. <laughs> Asher! Oh my gosh! Was did I, I was <laughs> I failed. <laughs> I was like, wait, is that part of that? Is that part? No, it's not part of the not part of the story. <laughs> I pressed A. No, seriously, I pressed A. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Oh, uh, I was gonna say, we started off so well. Let's see, grab the sword. Grab the sword. Fuck you, Ash. Yes, I press A! I press A! Wow, okay, I'm I'm gonna start pressing A before it even appears. What the heck? Alright, A, I'm pressing A right now. I'm tap- I'm tapping A Fuck for dear life. Okay, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What the heck am I doing wrong? Am I supposed to hold A? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to hold A? As much as I enjoy watching Asher get stabbed again and again. Alright, I'm, I'm getting stuck here. You are pressing too fast. Oh, I'm pressing too fast. Okay. Fuck you, Asher. I don't understand. You have to time it right. Wait a bit. Okay. Because I, I, I tap it as soon as I see the letter A. Maybe I need to tap it as soon as I see the square. Fuck you, Ash. Wait for the icon to fill the outline. Okay, wait for the icon to fill the outline. <laughs> Fuck you, Asha. Oh, I think I, I get it. I think I get it. Perfect timing. I get it. All right. Because, all right, this one, this is... That's a, that's a, that's a new mechanic that I don't think they introduced very well in the game. There we go. There we go. I finally got it. That was tough. Asha! Asha! That was... They should have done a better job of introducing that mechanic, because it was not obvious. Thank you, Kiki. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. 
tried to kill me. He killed me, what, ten times? I think I'm allowed to break his neck after he stabbed me ten times. He killed me ten times. <laughs> To soul. Introduce it with a toast at the beginning, I see. I guess I just- Oh, the toast, I gotcha. That's what it was. It wasn't obvious, I guess, enough. Come on, axe off me. What in all the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Your uncle? That ended well. More on their way. We need to go. Asher's not Come beyond on. killing people. The way I'm playing Welcome. him, of all characters I'm probably gonna control, he's the one that's Damn. probably hooked on it. Silverware. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. Oh. I'm here to bring you home. That's right, Ethan did send me. Or, Ethan did send him. Oh, that was glorious. That was a great way to begin. Uncle Forrester, yeah, to the rescue. Asher introduced me to a new swear. Alright, what are people saying? Kia Chair agrees they could have done a better job of introducing that. Um, Yay, Uncle Force to rescue. The accent makes it work by Hail Bliss. Hi, Hail Bliss. Welcome to the live stream. By all the gods of fire and yeah. Betty saves Betty saves everyone too. Um, yeah, I remember the uncle. Yeah, I remember the uncle. The forks could be expensive. Um, I love the theme song. Yeah, I love the theme song too. Lunch. Thank you, Excessive. Alright, I am pumped. That was a great way to kickstart the episode. I am so pumped. Who are we controlling next? Is it Asher? Is it somebody else? Somebody new? Or... Where are we now? Ironwood? Wait, hold on. Is that... Oh. Is that who I think it is? I think it is. Maybe, maybe. Oh. 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 Uh. Roderick! Yes! Roderick! He did not die! Roderick did not die! <laughs> not long now. I don't know. I probably should keep quiet. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Do I trust this guy? Yeah, maybe I should keep quiet then. so fucking far away. If he's not a fan of Foresters, maybe it was good that I kept quiet. There's a weapon there? Roderick! Oh, that's gotta be rough. Sorry, Sir Roderick. Alright. That's right. Get that adrenaline. Oh no, Roderick! Good gosh! That's far enough! I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly tops from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. I, uh, Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's clothes. Sir Royland. You did this at Duskendale. Oh, I can't hear him. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No! I this house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead? Hopefully the they won't be like, Oh my gosh, it's a walker! The Sir Roderick's a I'm walker! Sure expected to be paid handsomely <sighs> for it. Leave. <laughs> now! Fine! I'll dump him in the river then! 
Oh, geez. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? No. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Okay, wait. Oh, Q. Q, 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 Q. Sorry, sir. You're not getting worry. stabbed again. Because watching Asher get stabbed like that was was not fun. It was not hot watching Asher get stabbed. Maybe for other people it might what have been it, hot. Sir? Not for me. This one's still alive. Does that count as a drink? You there? No. Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Yeah, the, Fetch the, maester. the evil maester. Roderick. He'll make it, right? Okay. Okay, don't tell the maester the secrets. Don't tell the maester the secrets. I have to tell myself, remind myself, don't tell the maester any secrets. My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Calm now. I'm I'm pretty much dead anyway. I'll drink it. Whatever. I'm, oh, I'm pretty much dead, that's... dead anyway. As long as I don't tell him any secrets. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Let Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Mm. It's okay. Force. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Oh no. Evil maester! You can't trust the evil maester. <laughs> Oh, it's her sister. It's her sister. seems to be pretty patched up, so look at the broken arm. I wonder how long her sister's been sitting there singing to us. She's very sweet. I like her a lot. Then again, you're supposed to like her. Look at the practice sword. I'll use the pitcher. Slow reaction there, but that's okay. That's a beautiful song. I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I lost oh. you. Okay, okay. Not I'm too sorry. tight. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you alright? I'll hug her. It's painful, but I'll hug her. Come here, sister. Aww. Aww. How bad is it? <laughs> Maester Ortengren says your leg may never fully heal. Maester Ortengren. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. About Ethan. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Yeah. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Yeah, we're not... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it was nothing. Ethan? And it's all Garrett's fault because he told the maester the secret. 
We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. This is a really good scene. You can, Talia. I know you can. Do it for your brother, you have to. It's for your brother. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lot. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I'm not in a very good condition. I know you still though. need time to heal, I'll but be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now. Actually, nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready, I want to go. Wheel me in. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready, only one way to find out. Yeah, but if there's quick time events, I probably will fail. I missed you, brother. Aww. She's running out of brothers. All of her brothers have been taken you or can killed. Can do this, Roderick. Or maimed. I know you can. All right, let's cue it up. 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 E e e. All right. So far, so good. That's standing. Now let's try. Moving your foot forward. No. Press up or W to walk. Oh, ow. Did I do something wrong? I'm fine. I can roll. That won't be good for my arm. Um, no, seriously. There's got to be, like, something that you can wheel me into. Why wheel did you laugh? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, car. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. You're so cruel, It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. So what do you Take suggest? my hand. Let me help you. Trust in our sister. She wants Please, to help. Roderick. Let her help. She wants to help. Let her help. Thank you, Talia. We're family. Ready? Ready. That's it. So I go gingerly? Gingerly? I probably don't have to do this, but... May 717, Ethan's still alive and I didn't Everyone mess up. Everyone would be so secret. glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Roderick is strong as a Kunari. I'm sure he is. Gallant, Galenka Briel, I played R Roderick as a sort of proud individual slash stubborn. I refused the milk of the poppy and was confident in his ability to get up. Garrett Tuttle! It's all his fault, but that's okay. I still love him anyway. Because his hair... Because his hair. <laughs> Asher has awesome hair too. Drink? Half a drink? Maybe? <laughs> no. Cast black. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Roderick is a demigod. He doesn't need coddling. Well, she's only lost Ethan. Recruits at the gate! Oh, the pendant. I want to take a brief pause, guys, because I wanted to talk about the previous scene and catch up to some catch up to some um, of your comments right now. The only, uh, but the only brother, the only brother in Ironrath at the moment is Roderick, correct? And Asher's coming back, so we're trying to get the 
trying to get a bunch of the Forester brothers back that we have left. Um, Hildis, Ethan wasn't really a loss anyway. I'm not really sure I understand that comment, Hildis. Gallant of Briel, this is such a nice scene between these two, so sweet. Yeah, I, I, I really love that scene a lot. Um, even from the previous episode, you can really tell how, you can really feel the sense of family amongst the foresters. It's really an ongoing theme that this family is, they care about each other very much and they're, they're, they have each other's backs, even the ones that have been exiled like Asher. They're trying to bring them back and, you know, united we stand, divided we fall, and all of these people are trying to push them down, killing Ethan. Um, it really makes me feel invested. That's the that's the beauty of this story is that for whatever reason, when I was watching the TV show and when I was reading the book, I don't know what it was. I, I really can't explain it. That I it was having a hard time really getting invested in the characters and really getting me to care about the characters. I think that everybody else's mileage probably varies a lot, but for me, it just the formula just didn't work. This game, however, somehow the formula is working for me, and somehow it, the game is getting me to care and to become invested. And it seems like that, I guess, that um, I don't know, just got that just really called to me in a way that the first four episodes of the TV show didn't somehow. And again, I can't explain it. I'm just giving the honest my honest experience. So. Mecca McAllis said, don't rush it, don't rush walking. Um, uh, I played him as a mini Jeffrey Night Mace. Yeah, Garrett. Oh, I miss Garrett. I'm glad to be back in control of him. I don't think the game lets you be that much. Okay. The Wall. Rapers, Thieves, and Murders. Oh, my. Um, let's see. Excess and Talia is so sweet, which prob which means she's probably dead. Yeah. I don't want that to be true at all, but the way that things team seem to go with the with the Game of Thrones, nobody's safe. That's the thing. Game of Thrones, nobody's safe. And that's why I, I guess that's part of the appeal. That's what keeps you at the edge of the seat. Because it's not like even in even in um The Walking Dead, Rick is pretty much safe as far as I know, only because Robert Kirkman himself has said in a bunch of in, in a couple interviews he said that at least for the comic books for the graphic novels like the graphic novel is going to end when Rick dies or something along those lines like Rick, he basically said Rick is pretty much going to be surviving till the end of the comics whenever the comics go not to say that the TV show would necessarily hold to that because you know maybe as a twist they might kill off Rick or whatever but um, in the Game of Thrones, I don't think that they have that. I don't think that there is a Rick Grimes that is pretty much safe. Um, so, yeah, that sentiment that Excessin says, I'd hate to say it, but it's probably, it, it's, it's very possible. It's the, it's, it's, it might not be this episode, but it might be a later episode. Punks13, so far I really like the Foresters. I hope they are mentioned in the TV show at some point. That would be really cool. That would be really neat. Um, because... Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. Actually, I was going to say something else, but I don't want to spoil anything else from The Walking Dead, especially since some of you probably have never seen The Walking Dead and might be interested in, in it. Bioware Lover seventy six. Hi, Bioware Lover. Hello, just got here. Hi, YouTube. Good to have you. We haven't really gone through that much. We're still near the beginning. Bradley three thousand. Hi, Bradley. Imagine if book, game, and show characters came to life. George R R Martin would destroy Earth. Yeah, well. Um. Okay. Oh, uh, May 717. Oh, okay. Oh, what I would give to see this family at a reunion eating hot dogs and drinking Kool-Aid. I'm sure there's probably been some fan art. There's probably some Forrester fan art. I would love to see all of them together on happier times. Um, the Foresters were mentioned in the book once. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Um, Excessin. I'm sure there are plenty of heartfelt moments in the show. It's just, I guess there weren't enough or there wasn't... For whatever reason, in the first four episodes, I it wasn't heartfelt enough. I don't know. Or there weren't the right heartfelt scenes for me to grasp me. I, I don't know. Bradley 3 said in the first episode of the show, found, I found boring, but it got a lot better as the series went on. Um, 
Yeah, you caught the essence of Game of Thrones there, AA. Thank you, Kiyachira. Um, Mac Gaming, see, let's see. Sister's going to die because we like her. Yeah. Ned proved that no one is safe. To be honest, it's not like every character that's likable dies. It's kind of blood of proportion at times, yeah. Daryl Dixon, I think, in, in, Mass, in Mass Effect. Daryl Dixon, Mass Effect, be awesome. Daryl Dixon in, in, in Walking Dead, um, I think is safe just because the producers, from a business standpoint, the producers know that people would riot and might even stop watching the show entirely if they ever kill off Daryl Dixon. So if you like someone enough, they might be liked enough that they would be safe. And I think Daryl falls into that category. Um, because from a business standpoint, people want to, people to keep watching their TV show. And if they feel like killing off a character is going to have people plummet in views, it's something they have to consider. The Iron Rubber Duck. There are a few characters that won't die anytime soon in Game of Thrones. Like Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion I think people like too much for them to kill him off. I, I think people would rage enough and just quit watching the show if Tyrion ever dies. Um... Asher is as far away from any wildings you can get. Um, Jovian09, this game series has approached the Foresters the same way the books approach the Starks, as cl a close family whom we can identify as the good guys and who subsequently let get trodden into the snow. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, May 717, it sounds like a speculation. Garrett probably isn't going to stay at the wall. Chances are on the, on the Foresters are going to find some way to get him out. Yeah, I feel like Garrett definitely has a very valuable role to play. Um, yeah, Punk's, Punk's pretty much says that Tyrion had better be safe. I think I would stop watching if he died. Okay, cool. I caught up. I'm going to keep going. Let's go on. Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. It really does feel like I'm being conscripted into the Grey Wardens right now. <laughs> <laughs> By giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Take mm. the black. Have you got that look about you? I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Frostfinger? Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Sounds like a James Bond villain. Grizzled some new recruits are all dead men. But don't let them scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Not so good in this universe. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. That's sexist. Teach him a lesson. Oh, I'll teach him. Cassandra might have a little thing to say about that. Liliana, too. What's in these barrels? Just it's saying. Pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Use the barrels? Huh. It's warm. It's pitch. <sighs> Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. What? How are we gonna get out of this? I still can't get over how awesome his hair is. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for hair on guys. Such good hair. I want hair like that. <clears throat> <laughs> you recruits. You come. You train. You fight. You die. Who are you? Like boy? Grey Wardens. Like Grey Wardens. I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You thief. 
A raper. You abandon your post? Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? Actually, I'd like to volunteer. Hmm. You just want to serve the realm, is that it? That's what I'm telling you. Yes, sir. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. You're a bad liar, Garrett Tuttle. Yeah. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. Do I get a morpher? So you see, Tuttle. Morpher? I know all about you. Oh, uh, probably you not. You lied to me the first chance you got. <laughs> You'll fit in well here. Uh... You? If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Mm. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. Grey Wardens. When it comes, try to make it quick. Grey Wardens. Yep. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Where do I report to Zordon? And last we heard, ranger. Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? This is not going to be good. And bring you some salted pork while this you're at it. This is not going to be good. Uh, I'm going to walk right through book. this. Really? Not going to be Mine's good. almost done, actually. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't no, it? This is not going to be good. He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, cripple. did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Lord. Real shame Don't about your let face. Go of your sister now. Yeah, the sass is coming out. It happens every now and then. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, let's clean my sword. Cliche much? Go round. Cliche much. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. All right, here and we I go. don't think you're gonna make me. Talia Sikkim. <laughs> I would love her, Talia, to just like pull out, yank out some daggers, and just like you know, go to town. Go to town. Okay, Asher, feel I'll free to swing in weekend. anytime now. Asher, your legs or this house. I'm gonna be confident. I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Nice! Yeah, nice! Don't test me. Don't you dare test me. Go on then, my lord. I'm, meanwhile, I'm like, oh my gosh, that actually worked. I said, oh my gosh, take a drink. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go. Whew! It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like guests. The wine guess. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. Hey, I was chosen as sentinel. He's a sentinel. My lord. He's a techie biotic. He's a sentinel. So don't mess with him. And Ethan made him sentinel, so... Roderick! Hi, Ma. Hi, boy. I know. I'm home. A little worse for wear, but... Come, join us. 
Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Roderick versus Obama. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's do this. How else says Angel Art's gonna completely screw over this family? It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Yeah, let's get on with this. Perhaps we should get started. Yes. Yes, let's. Oh boy, here we go. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole Duncan. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. It's because you have no balls. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. We should have I'm afraid friends. we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Mm. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. So and the rest of our fire. allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. Glenmore. He'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, uh, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Hmm. Lady Elena will decide for herself. 